Agreed. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hey everyone, welcome to San Juan Carpentry. My name is Scott Schaefer, and today we're going to be gluing up some two inch milled aspen into uh, tabletops. And then what I'm going to do, instead of turning it into a tabletop, I'm going to use it to make uh, bar stool tops. So we're going to learn two things today. How to glue up a tabletop and how to make a bar stool top. Be cool. Let's get started. The tools you're going to need for this project are a straight edge, rubber mallet, biscuits, pencil, compass, glue, tape measure, jigsaw, biscuit cutter, chop saw, pipe clamps, side clamps, disc sander, drill with 1 8 bit and a 15 16 paddle bit, hand sander, and not pictured here, a joiner and a table saw. First step is cutting your lumber to length. Begin by squaring the end of the board. Cut enough off to get rid of any cracks. I want to get four 13 inch wide stool tops out of this, so I'm going to cut each board 27 inches long. I'm going to repeat this step until I have enough of them to make the tabletop 27 inches wide. My milled lumber has natural edges and I need straight edges, so I'm going to pull out the table saw to cut the first edge. I use my level to draw a straight line on the board since I can't use the fence. Be sure you're wearing all your safety gear and keep your fingers away from the blade. Since we eyeballed our first cut, we need to use the joiner to flatten and smooth the edge. Keep downward pressure behind or to the left of the blade when joining your boards. Back at the table saw, we're going to cut our second edge. This time we get to use the fence. We want to use as much of the board as possible, so we'll start by finding the narrowest point in the board. Then we'll set our fence to that width. Again, watch your fingers and wear all your safety gear so you can focus on what you're doing. Before we head back to the joiner, we want to make sure that we have enough boards to get our desired width. In my case, it's 27 inches and I have 28. Remember, we're going to lose some of that when we run the boards through the joiner again, so give yourself a little extra. I'm also going to number my boards to keep them in order. It's difficult to get the fence on the joiner perfectly perpendicular to the platform, so I'm going to run the odd numbered boards through with the number facing me and the even numbered boards with the numbers facing away from me. That way, if the fences are off a little bit, they'll cancel each other out. Using the compass, we're going to draw our circles. We're doing this before we glue it up because we want to make sure that our biscuits are not exposed on the edges of the seats. If you make a mistake when drawing your circles or lines, just use a sander to erase the pencil marks. After my circles are drawn, I'll draw my lines where I want to cut the grooves for the biscuits. If you're just gluing up a tabletop, two or three biscuits per seam will suffice. Next we're going to use the biscuit cutter to cut our grooves. Make sure your line on the board is matched with the line on the cutter and keep lots of pressure on the cutter to make sure it doesn't shift during the cut. Now it's time to glue it up. I like to use a ketchup bottle to apply my glue since I buy it by the gallon. I then use a small brush to spread it. Don't be afraid to use plenty of glue because if there are any gaps, it'll fill them in. When adding a board, be sure the lines you drew all line up. Install your pipe clamps near the edges of the tabletop and slightly tighten them. Put your side clamps on to make sure the tabletop doesn't bow out. Then tighten your pipe clamps as tight as possible. If glue drips out from the seams, wipe it off with your finger or a rag. Dried clumps of glue are very difficult to sand out.
I'd let it sit for several hours to dry. Once dry, remove the clamps. Using a 4 inch blade on your jigsaw, cut out the circles. And take your time to make sure you follow the line. Now we're going to use the disc sander to smooth the very rough edges. Don't stay in one place for too long or you'll lose your circle. Next you'll round the top edge. Using 80 grit sandpaper we'll sand the bottom first. We'll sand it just enough that it won't feel rough to the touch. Then flip it over and sand the edges. You'll need lots of light to make sure you get all the cut marks out. Then sand the rounded edge, and finally, the top. Now we'll drill out holes for the bolts that attach the legs. Since I build a lot of these stools, I have a pattern that I use. Initially, I just want to score the wood with the bit while using the pattern. Then I'll drill all the way through. And finally, the last step in the whole process, I'm going to use my 15 16th paddle bit on the top side of the seat to drill my countersink for the bolts. I want to drill it just deep enough for the head of the bolt and at least a half inch of plug on top of it. Hey guys, well that's the uh, show. Here's your final product here. Obviously I'll be plugging these once I get the bolts in to drive the, uh, the legs on. And uh, so that's your seat top. And this is your table top. Except you'd want it without the hole in it. Um, obviously you can uh, you can leave natural edges on here if you want to um, you know cut this smooth there's all sorts of different uh, directions that you can go once you have this glued up but I just wanted to show you how to glue it up please check out my website sanwoncarpentry.com there's uh, pictures and merchandise and videos on there plus if you go to logfurniturehowto.com there are um, a lot more do-it-yourself projects available for you there. There's blueprints to download. Uh, there's uh, videos you can download, long, really long videos. Um, it's a really cool site. It's kind of like a hub for log furniture. Um, I'm a part of that as well as some other builders. So you're going to get kind of a more well-rounded uh, perspective on the industry. So it's a great place to be. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Again, my website is sanwoncarpentry.com. Thank you for watching. Please follow these links to the next video and I will see you guys next time.